You got it, you got it. Pull up, pull up, pull up a shot. You got it, you got it. Pull up a shot. Yo, what is up, AD Team? Austin Dunham back again with another video. So the past few weeks, I posted a video of me attempting the world record in the planche push-ups. I'll go ahead and play a clip for you right now. So in that video, as you see, I did quite a bit. I surprised myself. I did over 20 reps of the planche push-up within one minute. Now through that, a lot of people have been asking me, one, how did you gain the strength to be able to do that? And two, how are you gonna train to work towards that 30 plus rep? planche push-up. So today is my chest day and I figured that I will show you the exercises and the workout routine that I'm doing to get better at it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see the exercises. All right guys, this is not a planche push-up tutorial. I will make an updated one here soon. This is just a video of me showing the exercises that I'm doing to get better at it. So I'm gonna go through each one and kind of explain the significance of it. The first one I like to call a dead stop planche push-up. So you know, you know with the planche push-up, you're leaned in, your legs are up or pressing up, but the hardest part is actually pushing yourself up and getting that force exertion to actually bring your whole entire body up. So get down on the ground. I sometimes do it like in a straddle like this. Then from there, I just press as hard as I can. I come back down, repeat for rest. So as you see, I'm training through that full range of motion. I'm getting all the way down to my chest and extending all the way up. This right here is a strength exercise because I'm not doing any more than five reps of the movement. I'm doing it for a lot of sets. And I guess I'm not doing three to five reps. So purely a strength movement. It's gonna tax my central nervous system and hopefully make me stronger in the overall movement. Now to move on to the second exercise, let me show you. So another thing you'll notice with the exercises I'm about to show you is that I'm not doing the full movement. When I'm training for the full planche push-up, I'm actually not doing full planche push-ups. I'm doing variations of it that's gonna make me stronger at the overall movement. So think about it as training versus performing. I'm training to get better at it through different movements, but when I actually perform, I do the full movement. So the next one is the 90 degree handstand push-up. Now, let's go ahead, let me show you an example before I explain it. So this one, you're gonna start in a handstand. From there, come down, body flat. Then you extend back up. I didn't extend all the way back up right there. But this, uh, the good thing about the 90 degree handstand push is that, if you notice at the bottom portion of it, you're in the same position as you are the planche position, right? The bottom portion. And then you have to bring your whole entire body back up. So not only are you training your lower chest, which is the planche muscles, but also your shoulders, stability and technique and all that good stuff right there. So once again, it's still a good exercise to work towards because I'm still pushing from the center of my body and extending all the way back up. I do have a tutorial for this one too, but let's go ahead and perform a few reps this is also a low rep exercise so that I can show you guys the full form. Hey, popping like I'm post to. Watch out for the people that ain't close to. Speak a little something you could toast to. I ain't trying to hear about what you won't do. Oh. See, the thing about bodyweight training, some days you're going to have it in you to do a lot of reps. Some days you're going to feel heavy and you're not. That's all right. The more you stay consistent with it, the better you're going to get. And also another thing is when I'm training, I like to keep the shoes on because when I'm heavier and I get used to that heavy weight, when I'm lighter, when I actually perform, it's gonna be that much easier once again. Now let's move on to the third exercise that I do as a part of my chest day to get better at planche push-ups. And that is the easier variation of it known as the tuck planche push-up. But before I show you that, keep in mind, that this is just no ordinary set of a tuck planche push-up. I'm gonna do something after. So tuck planche push-up, parallettes. You start on a tuck planche like this, which is a static hold. Come down, knees touching the ground nearly. 
extending all the way back up. So I'll do a set of that, and then immediately after, as a drop set to add more volume, I'll go into pseudo planks lean push-ups and just do a burnout set of that. So I've been doing this nonstop in this video. I'm gonna rest for a minute. And I'm gonna show you the full set of what it looks like. Come out. Make sure to get that lean. Very important. I prefer my reefer with Henny and Coke. Please don't be stingy. Got plenty to smoke. Show up and act up and back to the crib. I do not Hey guys, that's pretty much it. So the way I kind of order that is the first exercise I showed you, I would do five sets of that, resting around five minutes in between each set. 90 degree handstand push up. I do four sets of as many reps as I can. Some days it's three reps, some days it's six reps. Depends on how I'm feeling. And then this exercise, I only do three sets because I'm adding the extra drop set volume in there. And I do that once to twice a week, usually twice a week. I don't do it too much. And from there, that's how I'm getting strength in order to actually be better at this challenge. Now, one thing to keep in mind, yes, I'm training my central nervous system to get more efficient and effective at planche push-ups, but keep in mind, bodyweight training is all about relative strength, right? So that is how strong you are in comparison to your body weight. If I gain weight, if I gain five pounds, none of this makes a difference. But if I lose five pounds, everything's gonna be a lot more easier. So. I also do have to keep that in mind, which is why diet plays such a huge part when it comes to being at your best and body weight training. So remember that. All right, guys, that was pretty much it. Let me know what else you wanna see in the next video. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.